Hey guys, Anders here with a video on the new class, Draconia. With this week's patch, we received an additional passive to the class, Ceaseless Vengeance. Now this is a class trait similar to Sage's class trait, Ator's Eye. For Sage, it allows him to enter any of the dungeon type grind spots without a key. For Draconia, Ceaseless Vengeance allows her to craft Shattered Dragon's Malice, which when used will apply full church buffs. Now you craft a Shattered Dragon's Malice by heating 15 Dragon Scale Fossils, and these can be found primarily primarily from Dragon Zones. If you haven't been grinding for Infinite Potion, you should have a lot of these saved up. Now for those who are newer or returning to the game, Church Buffs are 2 hour buffs that you can get at any time by speaking to your city's faith leader. You exchange 3 10g gold bars to get the buff. There are 3 types of buffs you can get, Attack, Defense, and Experience. Now Attack will give you 8 AP and 8 Accuracy, Defense gives you 8 damage reduction and 150 HP, and Experience gives you Combat and Skill XP plus 15% buffs. Now most of the time Time for PvP guild content, you're using attack and defense, so you're spending about 6 million silver to get these for 2 hours. They can also be used for PvE grinding, of course, to give you that boost in power. The downside to the traditional method is you need to come back into town every 2 hours and pay for another duration of buffs to keep grinding. You're losing time going back and forth from town. Draconia allows you to bypass that by just moving 15 dragon skill fossils into your inventory and processing them where you're grinding to get the item. Shattered Dragon's Malice lasts for 2 hours a upon you crafting it, so you don't actually need to use it right away. The amount you spend for church buffs normally is 6 million silver if, say, you take attack and defense, but depending on the price of dragon skill fossils, you can save some money. Basically, if you take experience buff out of the equation, since it's not really worth talking about, you would save money on church buffs as long as you're buying dragon skill fossils under 400,000 silver. The downside comes if you're trying to use the passive trade in hopes of crafting this item, this malice item, and transferring that to your your main class that you grind on, you actually can't do that. Shattered Dragon's Malice is character bound, so you won't be able to transfer the buff. I'm okay with them making this family bound in the future since it gives players a reason to have a Draconia in the roster to tag it if they choose not to grind with her in the future, but let me know what you guys think. That's Draconia's new passive in a nutshell. Before I leave you, I did want to show you what a Pen Black Star Slayer and a Shard look like now that they have added some glow to the weapons. They didn't have glow before this patch, so that's good to see. Remember, the Shard is your offhand weapon, and it attaches itself to Slayer, your main hand weapon. They both look really good, in my opinion, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll have more Draconia videos out on the channel soon, so I'll see you guys in the next one.